Okay, now this is a video about the instructions, the guideline for the work I'm waiting from you. I will ask you to do a population viability analysis in conservation on a subject of, of a population, whatever the population is. So enjoy, please uh, have fun, pick up a population, a species that you like, maybe a species you already worked on or you will work during your stage. It will be useful maybe for you, hopefully. Or if you are in an NGO working on a population, and you want to help them, enjoy, take advantage and work on this population. But, but be aware that if you pick up a population with, turn to vortex, with very low knowledge, if it's a cryptic population, if it's a cryptic species, you won't be able to fill all the parameters. Remember, this is a weakness of the model. If it's a cryptic population that nobody knows, nobody followed, mon nobody monitored, there is no bioparameters known. And then you won't be able to feel it properly and then you will do a lot of approximation and you will have a weak, a weak um, model. So, if you are smart, <laughs> you will find some cool species very well known or actually into the literature there is a lot of models published with vortex into the literature uh, with all the bioparameters used and known but enjoy be creative find a species that you really like to do a model i want to i want you to train yourself to do some models on a conservation scenario okay so this word document i will provide the, this document as a link i will wrote right to you and then i will ask you to do a kind of report like a scientific publication but very concise okay please very 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 concise i will actually mark score how precise efficient you are okay but without missing vital very important information so cool. so please write an introduction where you explain to me why you want to do a model on this species and find two management okay two scenario of management where for example you have a population uh, you, with supplementation what's happened without supplementation a population if there is a higher quota with a low quota, a population with poaching, without poaching, an invasive species without management, for example, without harvesting, whatever. So be imaginative or work on a real case problem where you have a population and you want to test a model, a, the viability of this population with a management without management or several management scenarios okay so enjoy be creative but here you explain to me clearly what you want to test why you want to test it and what kind of management you will uh, you will test okay then here you explain in material and methods that you will work on a population in the Gia national park for example in my case and um, that you will use a stochastic Model like uh, and like Vortex uh, with Vortex software. Okay, and here you explain that you will find all the parameters in this literature here. Here, please use a reference manager to write the references. And then, anyway, I will ask you the project report in annex. Okay. That is a copy paste, and I can clearly see all the bioparameters you entered into your report. Result be very clean, clear. It's mainly figures. Okay. Discussions make a conclusion about your introduction, which management is the best, why you have to do it, because your population won't survive, or whatever, depend of your conservation scenario. 
your reference manager, manager will write all the references that you will use as a normal paper. Now you know how to do that. Please, if you don't know yet, because it's only your first year of master, uh, ask me, okay? And uh, during a team meeting, we can talk about that. If, in, if even if it's not the the goal of these courses, we do transversality and we talk, can talk about that. And into annex, you can write all what you want here, but mainly I want the uh, report, the project report. Okay, I show you what I really want from your analysis, your population viability analysis. Okay, let's use this one as an example. Let's say we want abandon prey and low abandon prey and bad line. What happened with the prey effect? And we run. So scenario one, bad line. Baseline, sorry, so you can see the iteration. And secondly, it will do the same with abundant prey, another scenario. Okay, so let's say I want to check um, if there is an effect of the prey with abundant prey comparatively to baseline. And then here, table and graph, I will have everything. So, I want the number of individuals per year during a century, century, baseline, abundant prey. Okay? And don't forget, now you are master student, you, are, you will be master degree in biology or in science anyway. Each time you have an average, you have also to provide a standard error or standard deviation. Okay? Always, always it's an obligation. So you can see that your model saying uh, saying that if you have your population of big cats, your population should decrease or even collapse. But if you have ab you, uh, prey management, you will have a healthy population with a K, the K limit reached after 20 years. Okay. So I want this figure, for example, because this is the main. Uh, print. That's a bit long. Okay, you can copy it. Let me, I'll do that. Copy, copy. Okay, copy. I'm too lazy. I do like that <laughs> because I want to be faster. Up. So here in the result, when you will copy your figure, don't do like this. Huh? Print it properly. <laughs> it just I want. I don't want to go through my computer. Please, 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 always write a legend now, or it's also it's again an obsession. You are a master degree. So you always have a legend which can provide all the information. So here, for example, you see population analysis, um, population viability analysis with vortex ten, uh, vortex ten of two um, scenarios of conservation in red management of um, uh, of the prey. Here, no management in blue. Uh, during a century, for example, uh, you write uh, what else? everything in the Gir National Park because be aware that sometimes a lot of scientists won't read your paper, they will just watch your figure and the legend. So, in a legend is full of information with everything, okay? Not too much, just be efficient. Think about somebody who, are, who can be. Uh, able to understand everything just by watching you figures and the uh, legends okay so I want a complete legend with your figures and a little blah blah about the results one two three lines maximum okay and then as I told you in previous video 
what else is quite important obviously the tables these tables you can see two scenarios then here you have everything you have the R the grow rate stochastic and deterministic the probability of extinction you see in bad line it's 77% uh, of probability for extinction of your big cat population with an average time time of uh, 61 62 years within 62 years or the median 75 you big cats may disappear without management of the prey okay with a probability of 70 um, 77% with that you have everything you have also the standard deviation of your average you have the genetic diversity etc etc okay so you copy also this table and you put you put it here okay this is the main result i want to see into your report this figure and the table if you think that uh, for example for example other figures like the probability of survival are um, useful please copy it also copy past here for example you can see that the probability of survival decrease with years for your population without management of the prey etc etc please explore this is the goal of this exercise of this homework I want you to explore a bit this tool for population viability analysis. I want you to, to keep that in mind that it's a new tool available, free, powerful for your management decision strategy later when you will have to decide about your uh, management for a population, for an invasive, invasive species. This is a useful tool to explain to stakeholders, to your colleagues or for yourself to decide what to do for the best of the conservation okay so you have that you have the guideline will be will discuss together anyway on teams you got everything to start and to enjoy a conservation biologist work okay see you i will have a great pleasure to read your report. <laughs> Bye.